everyone! Welcome to Glam Fam Knows How! I'm Olivia, your host for today's episode. I've been super busy working on my project for my school's art fair, so I thought I'd make sculptures with salt dough! Sounds kind of funny, right? <laughs> Salt dough is really cool because you can sculpt it, you can paint it, you can glue stuff to it. Basically, you can let your imagination run wild. Speaking of wild, last week, Kim and I went to the zoo and I was so inspired by all of the colorful animals we saw. There's peacocks and leopards and butterflies. So I thought it'd be fun to create my own animal zoo out of salt dough. Okay, let me hang our photo up for inspiration and we can get started. I think I am out of tape. Hmm. I know. I'll make my animal sculptures into magnets. <laughs> It'll be possum. Okay, let's dull in. Did you know peacocks are some of the largest flying birds and can live up to 50 years? Also, their feathers have crystal-like structures that act like a kaleidoscope. Why can't leopards play hide and seek? Because they're always spotted! <laughs> Some of the animals have tiny magnetic particles in their bodies, which apparently helps them locating food and finding a way back home. That's probably why my dog never asks for directions. <laughs> Zoo la la! These magnets are wild! I can't wait to show them at school. What are some of the fun things you like to sculpt? Thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you want to have the ultimate creative fun, the Glam Fam knows how. See ya! Hello, everyone. Or as they say here in Australia, good eye. I'm Kira Bailey, and this is the bush. It's what we call the forests and open land in Australia. My great aunt Mamie runs a wildlife sanctuary out here, and I'm helping her out for the summer. It's been the greatest adventure. I decided to start a video journal so I could share my amazing adventures with other kids like me who love camping, being outdoors, and dream of taking care of wild animals. Welcome to Camp Kira. And I'll show you the cute animals we get to take care of every day, like koalas. <laughs> hey, cutie. Wanna take a selfie? Out here in the bush, we live in the camp and sleep in these amazing tents. And I made a new friend here who taught me all about taking care of wild animals. Say hello, Alexis. <laughs> G'day, I'm Alexis, the best mate. You are, OMG. We did butt heads at first. <laughs> we did. But we both love rescuing animals and that's how we became best mates. So for my first journal entry, we decided to make pebble art inspired by one of our favorite rescues, being the koala bear. Pebbles are great to use to paint on because they're environmentally friendly. And they're everywhere. All right, it's time to go rock hunting. Let's go, girl. Time to find the perfect rock. Round and flat ones are the best canvas. Just make sure it's okay to take the rocks from their home. Look at this one. Oh, spider. <laughs> Next, you'll need to clean your rocks and pat them dry. Grab your favorite paints or paint pens. If you want a background color, go ahead and coat the rocks. You can even drip paint. Time for inspiration. Aunt Mamie taught me 90% of the animals here are only found in Australia, like koalas. They make the perfect model because they sleep up to 22 hours a day. But you can use a picture or your pet. Once your rocks are dried and sealed, you can decorate your desk space or use them as napkin holders. It sure gets windy out here. And if you make a bunch like us, you can always give them away to your friends. This was super fun. What kind of animals do you like to draw? I hope you have as much fun painting pebble art and learning about koalas as we did. Thank you, Alexis, for painting with me today. My pleasure, mate. I will be back soon with more adventures from the wild. This is Kira and Alexis. Signing off from the bush. Catch you later. Welcome back to Camp Kira. 
Alexis and I just love taking care of the animals here at the sanctuary. And we've gotten pretty good at it. Sometimes we have to do chores like clearing up dry branches or clean up wombat poo. <laughs> Did you know wombat's poo is shaped like a square? <laughs> <laughs> Helping at the sanctuary is one of our favorite things to do. But we also know that to stay healthy and happy, it is important not to forget to take care of ourselves. That's why every Sunday, after we finish our chores, we put on music and do something fun and relaxing. I like to draw. And I like to take pictures. Doing things that help you feel good is called self-care. The animals work hard too. Some of them are recovering from injuries, or are distressed from fires, or... Or dirty from playing around in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy and Boomer, I just gave you two a bath. I think we could all use a self-care day. Hey, mate, that's a great idea. Let's make it a self-care Sunday for us and the animals. And you can use some of these tips to give some extra care love to your pet at home. Let's do it. Grab your pet's toys and shampoos and be sure to ask a grown-up to help read any labels and to assist with the bath. Yep, I got the towels. Wombats may look slow, but in reality, they can run up to 25 miles an hour. So those paws need some love. I like to make a homemade paw bomb to use on some of the animals. Be sure to listen to your pet and only rub their paws if they like it. Finally, everyone deserves a little treat. I'm making petsicles for those hot days in the bush. Just fill an ice cube tray with pieces of their favorite pet treats. Add water and your pet will be so happy. Be careful and make sure to ask an adult for assistance. I'm feeling pampered from head to paw. A hundred percent agree. What are the ways you like to show your pets and yourself some extra love? Okay, who wants a petsicle? Thanks for hanging with Alexis, Daisy, Boomer, and me for our self-care Sunday. I will be back with more fun from the wild. Till then, I'm Kira Bailey signing off from the bush. Say guys. and conflict.